As innovations and advancements in technology continue at an accelerated rate, most consumers are unaware of what makes up and catalyzes this accelerated growth. Most of these iterations are so small and occur so fast, it's easy to take them for granted. Take batteries, for example. With every new model, the batteries in your phones, laptops, and cars last a little longer and charge a little faster. All these little improvements extend the spectrum of how technology assists in maximizing human potential, all while making strides to a safer, greener planet. Our lives would be astronomically different without the lithium ion batteries we have today. And by that same token, if these little iterations of batteries slowed down, we would see a direct impact to our quality of life and our ability to progress socially, economically, and environmentally. I work on the battery test system at NI. This system is designed to hook up to a car's battery and monitor it during the process of getting it ready for market. So what makes a better battery? Of course, they need to be small enough to fit in any device, they need to last longer, and they need to charge faster, but they also need to be able to be charged and discharged many times in a wide variety of environments without becoming defective or unsafe. Each and every time the lithium-ion battery enters testing and development, it emerges as a more dependable and efficient product that gets us further and further away from using fossil fuels to power our vehicles. Before lithium-ion batteries ever came to be, the first rechargeable batteries were developed from lead-acid chemistry. These batteries were best suited for brief bursts of power, such as powering the lights of train cars at each stop. Most cars and trains still use lead-acid batteries today. In the late 1890s, engineers were trying to build batteries from nickel-cadmium, but progress was slow because the parts were large and expensive. In 1977, Stanley Whittingham created the first rechargeable lithium-ion battery by using titanium disulfide and lithium metal as the electrodes. This resulted in two-volt batteries, which unfortunately short-circuited and caught fire. With Whittingham's battery in mind, John Goodenough brought us to a tipping point by building a cathode made of cobalt oxide, which resulted in a battery with double the potential power. Then Akiro Yoshino took Goodenough's cathode and paired it with a petroleum coke anode to create a battery that was consistent, safe, and could be charged hundreds of times. And after decades of dedicated scientists and engineers refining the lithium-ion battery, the first highway-safe all-electric vehicle was brought to market in 2004. The iteration of lithium batteries is one of the greatest examples of how testing is not a necessary evil, but a key enabler of product performance. It allowed for the creation of electric cars, smartphones, hearing aids, pacemakers, heart monitors, and more. As batteries get smaller and last longer, their impact becomes greater. If you can test faster, you can develop products faster. Often, people treat testing as an afterthought, but you really need to concentrate on the little things that will improve the product while you're actually building it. All of these little things that have advanced lithium battery technology have also advanced our society. On a daily basis, we just expect our devices to get better and better and only raise an eyebrow at the biggest of discoveries. But it doesn't take one discovery to get us from point A to point B or to save a life. It takes thousands of little things to build the foundation for our future. <laughs>